And I said, that Peas was my foot. Peas and... mm -hmm. oh. Whoa. Whoa, you're watching Chelsea and Tony live again. So nice to see you here. Did you lose weight? It's Thursday, it's five o'clock, and tonight we're reviewing your best photo. So get it ready. If you haven't already submitted it, you can do that at sdp.io slash submit. Isn't that exciting? I'm so excited, Chelsea. <laughs> And this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful, award-winning designer templates. They have 24-7 customer support. I haven't had to use it, but I think Justin did, and he said it was great. Also, if you have a Squarespace, you can make your own logo for free. They have a cool logo designing service. I've used it and I like it. If you want to start your free trial today, go to squarespace.com slash Chelsea and use the coupon code Chelsea to get 10% off. That's right. Me, Chelsea. This is a war now, Tony. You can also use the coupon code Tony. No, Just you pick can't. whoever you think is prettier. <laughs> That's not true. If you have a Squarespace website, we'll take a look at it in the middle of the show. Go to sdp.io slash link to send us the link. While you're submitting your photos, you want to go over one bit of... Cool sure. photo news. Yeah, we passed one thing. Next week, the theme is astrophotography. Some of you requested that. And then... Awesome. Stars. Stars. And then in Patreon, I put up a little poll and you vote and you voted for Astro. So congratulations. It's happening. And thanks for supporting us on Patreon. We have Chris Reddy reading your comments. Hi, Chris. Hello, all. So you can send him your comments and he'll maybe he'll get them to us. Maybe he'll delete them. So. There, it's been a really slow news week, but the one thing we have going on is that the people who make my favorite beer, Dogfish Head, made a beer called Super 8 that is formulary, form, th th Whoa. you can use it to develop Super 8 film <laughs> from Kodak. It's like a weird partnership between a beer company and a film company. So these are the official instructions. Wow. Yeah, you like take the beer and you heat it up and then you add some baking soda and vitamin C and you agitate it and then you just, it's like Super 8 film is like for video, you know? And I don't you, do you that. dunk the whole thing in there and then put some fixer in. And I, why? I don't know. I mean, for fun. Honestly, it sounded, I, I didn't like the idea of drinking something that could be used to develop film. Like that made me think of it as a chemical. But you know what? You can use Coca-Cola to clean your shower head. That also doesn't seem like a... <laughs> <laughs> that just makes Coca-Cola less appealing. Are you going to try it? I mean, the beer, I'll, not I'll, the whole process. Yeah, I'll try the beer. I, I'm actually really curious about that kind of thing. Like I love darkroom stuff, but we don't have a darkroom. So we have a closet. You want to look at some people's very best photos that they've ever taken? These are your best photos. Speaking of astrophotography, look at this photo. It's gorgeous, right? It's gorgeous. Uh, 70 Mark II at 18 millimeters. It's um, very like boom right in the middle. You've got the, the Milky Way leading down to the middle, and then this mountain is framed by two rocks. You get a pic, Satano. Uh, whoa. Whoa, you... Okay. We, Did it. Yeah, but the saturation is like. It's hard to back it off when someone's gone there. Yeah, I don't know why you can't turn it down. I don't know. It, once you turn it up, you can't turn it down. But very pretty. I love the fog there. It's a gorgeous photo. I would even bet the average person likes with the extra saturation. I don't know if that name is Stefan or Stephanie. Stephane. Sorry. Um, I would just bring up the whites in the... Something's going on with this. Maybe it's just underexposed. Is that a little better for you? No? I don't know. Somewhere in between, maybe. I like the it's fogginess. Nice I like the mood of the photo. Yeah, this one has a really nice mood, too. Um, one thing I have to say is this lens flare in the middle, I would remove that because... With this framing and just the composition of the photo, that's the first thing my eyes went to and then locked on. And it's not a subject. So I'd get rid of that. What do you think, Tone? Yeah, I agree with that. But otherwise, nice photo. But I like the natural framing. Me too. Me more. I really like these sort of very simple pictures that just isolate a single subject. The, the layers here are really, really nice. 
This would look. I, I, this would look great in a glass print. Um, I almost want to make it more perfect thirds, like Neapolitan ice cream, right? Like, do mm. you think there's too much vanilla in this? I don't know why you're talking about food. You know how I get <laughs> with this show, like that. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Nice shot, in August. You're just gonna you make me think like... of ice cream and move on with your life. Okay, Caleb White. Whoa, where did you go? Um. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Uh, though I might have even tilted the camera back a little bit, like the bottom sixth of the frame is all kind of dark and not much is going on. And we definitely could have seen a little bit more of the stars. So just tilt it back a little bit. I think I'm uh, just- But it's so gorgeous. I can't believe you got the Milky Way so clear. I think that everything is really tinted green. So I might just back that off a little bit. Let me see. Yeah, that lighting that you get at night can be so hard. It can be- It always requires so It can hard. be a challenge. See, I saw this one when we were loading the photos before the show, and it just made me feel relaxed. It's really beautiful. I love the mood. I love the simplicity. I love the composition. I'm giving you a pick. I wouldn't even mind seeing a long exposure on that, make the water a little glassier. Nice use of layers here, Henri. It's almost like the, like the depth of field is so deep, and then the subject is the mountain, but... There's something just a little not right to me. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. I think it's a definitely, I think it's a spot worth revisiting. I like the telephoto look here. You know, we're at 75 millimeters full frame equivalent and that kind of makes things narrow. And that's, mm, yeah, it is really nice. So revisiting that at different times of day, you'll get different clouds, different lighting conditions, but it's a great spot. I also understand it probably isn't, in your driveway, you know, it's probably not some place you can readily revisit. I understand that isn't always practical advice. Where is this? I I have to guess uh, Transylvania. <laughs> you have to? Like that? Why do you have to? Wow, that picture's sharp too. How do I go? Oh, A7R like, Mark III. Tony, like someone literally lives right in here underneath this castle. Um, is this up crazy to you? Yeah, this place is spectacular. Oh, how do you feel about that bridge to the left? You. I'm fine with it. That's how people get to fancy world. Yeah. I mean, it's it's true. It exists, but it bugs me a little bit as well as like the cars and stuff. But it's... it's you true. hate real life? Yeah. Yes, me too. I've been hating it's, it lately. It's not great. It's not as good as fake life, fake life right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you can just it's tough. Fake fictionalize everything. Better. It's better. Mm -hmm. I've had that experience. Oh. Yeah, I just I, want to stay. Like an awesome I just spot. find myself looking at this photo because I want to okay. be here. Carl, well, we have forty minutes left. We're just going to be looking at Carl's photo. <laughs> Carl, just tell me where this place is. We're going to live there. Okay, pick. Obviously, pick because their composition's nice too. It's not just the subject. You picked a nice time. The golden hour. It's lit up. Mm -hmm. The composition's beautiful. You have this reflection. Then you have the leading line of the water. Like you put work into this, but also I, I just want to go to this place. <laughs> Oh, that's also Oh, beautiful. that little house, yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous shot. Great mood on it. I love that little house, but... Put a little mood on it. We got to see it. I think a big format would work really well for that. We could like a big panoramic print. It's just the stick. I think Less it's so nice, TV. but that stick is driving me crazy. Um, that's how the ants cross the river. How dare you discriminate? I almost said, you know, like, get your feet wet and pull that stick out of the frame. But then the poor ants, they'd be mm -hmm. separated they from their families. Yes. I'm really ruthless. But I agree you should remove the stick. Oh, you, you knew about the ants and decided you should <laughs> remove the stick, Chelsea. The thing is, what have they done for me? I like the toning. I love the the colors that you chose. Like you can see that you really kind of um, made the greens a, a mintier muted color. It looks really nice. I think you did a nice job. I'm going to give you a pick, Blessed Hope TV. Forget about those ants, okay? Kaylin, gorgeous colors, nice, simple subject here. Man. Uh, definitely a spot to revisit if you can, like a little bit of fog here or some snow on the ground if that happens where you are. It would just be that one extra thing, but it, it's really nice. you also see like different grasses and stuff because the foreground, like it's a gorgeous shot. 
Mm-hmm. Nothing going on in the foreground. Um, also, like... What? If there were a moon or something. Oh. Like, check your moon a moon? Out. Check your moon. <laughs> and check if the moon's moon. rising behind it... I'm just saying, like, this is such a good spot. This picture as it is is great. But definitely a spot to revisit. Try to find... Try to make the best possible picture of this spot. Get the moon rising yeah. behind it. Get fog rolling across oh, it. Fog. Revisit it 50 times. We have the will be different every a time. lighthouse near our house and we go in fog. We go in, there's a moon rising. We just photograph it in every different element. This could be your spot if it's near your house. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a little bit of stuff in the foreground that Tony I don't North like. Path. And then there's this over here. Okay, let's see. But I think I actually. Mm, wow. Oh. Mm, I don't know where. Well, where's the best? Thing? These grasses here, right? I, I liked them, but no, you were mistaken. Who am I? I'm merely your equal. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a pick, Cass. Chris, do you have any um, questions, like interesting ones or good comments? I cannot hear you. Dang it! That's okay. Sorry. That's there okay. We go. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dick wants to know. He says he has got a, a D fifty six hundred and wants a telephoto longer than the D, than the seventy to three hundred. Is the next best thing like one of the Tamron or Sigmas one fifty to six hundreds, or is there any other options? I. It depends what his budget is. The Nikon two hundred to five hundred is awesome. We love that lens. And then a step up from that is the five hundred f five six prime, which is expensive but really amazing. Yeah. Um, I was never a huge fan of the Tamron and Sigma, like 150 to 600. I really like the Nikon 200 to 500 better. Just me. Okay. Got anything else, Chris? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are your thoughts on the growing prevalence of photos being viewed on smartphones and other small screens as opposed to large formats? To This is Tobias. He feels like... Uh, it seems to encourage oversaturation of the pictures when they're processing it. Yeah. I mean, you have to see where your audience is viewing your photos. That's just kind of the reality of it. I wish more people were going to galleries and just viewing big, beautiful prints. But most of the time, if you're putting your photos on the internet, people are looking at them on their phones. Um, and you have to consider that. That's why often we say have a simple thumbnail. Because a photo that might like look gorgeous in a huge print may not translate on a tiny screen. Um, I can't say that you know it's what I prefer, but it is what is, and it's, reality, it's the reality. And I and I go with that. I don't try to fight that. Here's a practical example: like this would look great on Instagram. This would kill on Instagram. Monochromatic, simple. There's not any detail that you have to consume. But this on Instagram, once it's shrunk down won't look good. It's a beautiful picture. It would look way better than the previous picture in a big print because you have that extra detail to consume, but just wouldn't look good on Insta. You just have to know your final format. That's all. We often, in a beautiful scene, we'll take a picture composed for Insta and then we'll take another picture composed for print because you do have different audiences. But yeah, it's changed everything about photography. It's changed some things. No doubt. What else, Chris? Do you have anything else? Yeah. The... Well, here's a good one, uh, Tony. The the whole idea behind um, tuning your lenses to your camera. Do you do that for your for your lenses, or is it just being nitpicky? Um, I have definitely experimented with that and spent a lot of time trying to solve focusing problems with it, and I have found it only makes things worse. I've never had it actually solved. Uh, it's it's just there's no way to make it consistent. There, here's the background on it. If you have a DSLR, it's possible for the phase detect focusing sensors to get out of alignment from the sensor. Like they bounce off a little kind of semi-translucent mirror. Yep. And it should be the exact same distance to the phase detect focusing sensors as it is to the sensor itself. But sometimes they can get a little misaligned. And if that's the case, then you could fix it with those adjustments. But every other scenario, like your lens misses focus sometimes, it's not gonna help. In fact, it's gonna make it worse. And most of the time, focusing problems are caused by anything but that. So people try to solve every focusing problem by making that adjustment. 
it makes things worse. I talked to a guy who worked at support for one of the big companies, I forget which, maybe it was Nikon, but he said um, the single biggest problem they get is people who get into that cycle of micro adjustments and screw up their focusing and then they call it mad and they're like, just turn it off. Like, yeah, your camera misses focus sometimes, but you're not gonna fix it that way. You only make things worse. But there is this huge community of people just screwing up their focusing by trying to fix it. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it has no effect on mirrorless cameras, no effect when using live view. So I've seen people try to troubleshoot problems with live view and mirrorless cameras by doing that too, but just stop, just chill. You're going to miss focus. I say you keep going. It sounds super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Homer. I like the color contrast. Look at this beautiful orange, red, uh, dirt plateau, I'll call it, against the blue sky. <laughs> Australia will be thrilled. <laughs> uh, should we get rid of this car? No. It gives you a sense of scale and adventure. Okay. <laughs> Just fine. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> scale and adventure <laughs> you made a mistake but you know what who doesn't oh this is gorgeous i like this one it's so nice and simple nice shot william uh whoa this is a lot is, are the colors too much well just did you have to take a picture of every star aaron yeah pick one <laughs> i'm just kidding um no it just seems like really really intense right like it almost looks more like noise than stars what's happening no no one's yeah no i'll, I'll back you up i would definitely back off the how do we all the processing that you did i would just back it off like 30 percent. so this happens it's a beautiful to me scene. all of the time aaron i edit it looks a little better. I do a little more. It looks a little better. And then I go get a snack and I come back and holy cow, what did I do? So I developed this process where I edit and then I dial everything back like 20%, even 30%, because you just kind of acclimate to these gradual changes. And before you know it, everything's just like really intense. So I'd say just back this off like 30% and it's great. I like the composition. I like the colors. Like the Milky Way is gorgeous. It's just a, it's just a little bit too much. A little too much of a good thing. Another shot with some nice mood. I want to kind of import and just. I want to see that bell pepper. Yeah, I I don't know why I was flipping through and at first glance I thought this was some sort of nudity. Like for just a brief <laughs> second, I was like, I can't show this. <laughs> you were like, dang. But I, I love this sort I'm of organic form. Pepper. I almost think I want like a little more contrast in it. Like, I don't know. I want to see a little bit more of the kind of the shaded side of it. But maybe I'm not. I'm not don't mess with it. Okay. Don't it's a good shot, it. Alan. Okay. I'll, Where'd you find that pepper? I'll do an import. <laughs> Chelsea, settle down. <laughs> Chris, do you have any questions for us? Oh no, you've gone oh, silent sorry, again. Chris. Did you do that, Justin? No. Yeah, you did. It's no, just... that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta hide the thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a gear question here. Oh boy. What do you rec What do you recommend as a, a excellent lens for landscape photography? What's What are a couple of good choices? I do you know what type of camera they have. Uh, a Canon. Uh, excuse me. Seven eighty D. And an A6400, two different. Oh. Um, it's, I, I'm going to say the Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8. It's very sharp. The focusing is flaky, but for landscapes, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Just use Live View on the ADD, and you'll need an adapter, obviously. ADD. For the Sony. Um, and then you, you might even need more telephoto. Get the 50 to 100. It's fine, yeah. It's from Sigma. And if you need wider, stitch together. A panorama, because it's easy. We had a live show with Thomas Heaton, and he had some good gear advice, I think. So yeah, he was talking about actually using longer lenses for landscape, and it was something he was just exploring. Yeah. And he, a lot of his videos have been using that 70 to 200 for uh, a, a different That's view good. of landscape. Yeah. So maybe pick your own whatever lens and make it your own, you know? Like... That's one thing I've noticed about photography. It moves and trends. So everyone was doing portraits at like 
80 millimeters for a while. And then I don't know about you guys, but I get so tired of it when everything looks the same or they do the same kind of like post-processing and you kind of have to keep up with the trend so that you don't look old fashioned. But if you stain it too long, then everyone's tired of it. But you can do your own thing. You can choose your own focal length and your own style. I think you should just go with it, right? You get bored of seeing the same thing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's Iowa <laughs> by John Lane. Iowa. This is gorgeous. It, it seems like a still life, except I'm sure John didn't just casually move, move that huge tractor tire over, but the way the rope is just draped over it, it's it's just like a gorgeous scene. I'm sure he stumbled into this barn. and It's just country living. I love it. Awesome. It's just country living. Okay. <laughs> Who is this adorable demon? <laughs> this is fantastic. You get a pick too, Matthew. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Gorgeous demon. I. That's okay. hilarious. That is how childhood is, isn't it? Just screaming at bubbles. You will obey me, bubble. I think this waterfall shot is so smooth perfect like the exposure is just perfect they're clipped just a little bit which is kind of what i like to see though i don't know like this whole right bottom corner is just filled with rocks and i almost wish we could have pushed in to get a little bit but closer. i feel like see this like it kind of leads to the waterfall um i'm sorry can you make the sound again <laughs> i like it nice shot daniel daniel you did it Oh, oh, I don't. Why are you being on pain light room? Sometimes uh, light let's look room. Look at this. Mm, I like this. Is interesting. This is different. Yeah, maybe a little much with this saturation. So I, you I tried to fix it, bit, but, but you can never go back, and that's something we've learned. I just want to see what would happen if we made it even more abstract. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like that too. Me but too. Beautiful job of the silhouette. Fantastic eye. Great light. Really nice. I can tell this was a beautiful day, Ed. Yeah, I'm trying to come up with a suggestion for him, but maybe we just cruise. Let's cruise it. Hmm. Um, this is definitely a beautiful scene. A Kodak Easy Share. I was like, why is the sky so noisy? Um. Yeah, uh, great scene, uh, great shot. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have any don't constructive know. criticism for you. It just turned out nice. And my room is being such a pain. Why are you? <laughs> we just keep pushing next, but it will just take us to a random well, photo. Everyone doesn't care about us. Chris, can you tell me a question or a comment? What is this? This must be a comp. This is definitely a picture directly from heaven. Uh, How'd this happen? What? Wait. What? <laughs> I know. I think that. Chris, that's a know? comp, right? Chris, do you know what's happening? Uh, yeah, the it, clouds are just a bit over. Well, it looks like I they're think... blown out, and he tried to recover the 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 whites in it, but they're just not there. Yeah, but it can't be a comp. Like, who could cut out a bird so perfectly? Well, I wonder because the feathers at the bottom right, they almost yeah, look like they were cut up a little bit. Okay, Rick, what's going on? What are you trying to pull here, Rick? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, like this. By the is... way, that that castle picture was uh, Mont Saint Michel in France. Oh. Oh. Okay. We should go there. Okay, let me write that down. Shoot. Um, right. and that's in Transylvania, right? Because <laughs> yes. if that's not true, then I, that would make me wrong. No, you're not. And so I assume... No, Transylvania is France. Yeah, yeah. Some people, people... like that. <laughs> this is a. Like a beautiful couple's portrait. Wait, what is it called? Really Chris, nice that scene. place. Mont Saint Michel. Now. Yeah, we're going. We. I just bought a house there. Okay. Oh, oh I'm so torn. Is. We got a Mustang fastback, but it's spot color. Oh gosh. It's like, this gives me multiple feelings. Um, it's t it's tough to photograph something when you have so many people walking around, but he used spot color in a deliberate and practical way. And so I give him spot color points for that. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I still don't like spot color. 
But I think that he did it in a way that's understandable. Okay, I'll give you partial credit. This is so cool, Kareem. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give this one a pick. Um, we definitely, like I immediately noticed the fabric of the flowers, but at the same time I felt like, okay, that's okay. It's It's kind of larger than life anyway. It actually seems to fit okay. Dang. But I would have used a higher f-stop. Really nice, really beautiful leading lines. Wow. Oh, he says it's a moon composite. Okay, we appreciate okay. your I honesty. I appreciate you <laughs> telling us the truth. The moon can be very sneaky. You've seen what happens when people don't tell us it's a composite. We immediately <laughs> go into like CSI mode and He's spend like, 12 please, minutes discussing don't, it. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing I'd say is that like all of the light around the moon is this purple color and then the moon is just bam white. So just match the color. Yeah, I I totally get the challenge. I I don't think it passes, but I would just blend in the original photo a little bit more or something. I don't know. I don't even know how to, you know what, Hubert? I don't even know who I am anymore. You've given Chelsea an existential crisis, Hubert. <laughs> um, well, okay, we <gasps> have a real moly. drama scene here. This, okay, like, don't you guys hate when this happens, though? And you're just sitting around, and then the fish man cuts your guts out. Oh, I see what happened. Usually, you cut the fish's guts out, but here, the fish cuts your guts out. Ultimate uh, storytelling. I think this person's a vegan. Thanks for explaining that, Joss. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wesley, you get a pick. This is awesome. You get a pick, but please don't drink that milk. It's definitely past expiration. That's great. I love that shot. That's yeah. gorgeous. Nicely done. That is fun. Oh, look at this little owl. That's a saw wet owl. Yeah. Justin, don't tell me yup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, I, like I don't, I can't give you feedback because it's great. I love the blue background against the um, golden eyes. Maybe, yeah, actually, the shot's perfect. Maybe I would just make the yellows a little less green, but it's so slight, such a slight color difference. Yeah, great shot. But I'm gonna give you a pick. Wow, their photos are really great. Yeah, these are their best shots. Maybe we should take a second. These and, are uh, the like best can... shots for everyone. Okay. And look at somebody's portfolio. Let's look at your portfolio and see what, what you're offering there. Let me see what we got. Let's take a, um, a question while we look around. If Chris, yeah. if that's possible, Chris. We, it is possible. Here's a troubleshooting one that, uh oh, it's a good one. Okay. This is why are greens, this is from Andre Quito. Why are greens showing up in my highlights when photographing at a, a sunset on his dog's fur and whiskers? The sun is at your back and using a Canon T6 with a 51.8. It like what chromatic, causes that cringing? Like chromatic aberration he's talking about? That, that, I think that's what it probably is. Yeah, I think it's probably chromatic aberration. I mean, it depends. Your lens could be causing that. You could try different lenses. And then also in Lightroom, there's a, a chromatic aberration panel. And you can take out the greens, you can remove that. It's pretty easy to do too. We'll show you. We'll show you shortly after we look at this portfolio. I'm just still trying to pick a portfolio. That one. This one. There's a dog. Um, okay, but wait, what? it has one of these entry pages. Uh -oh. How do you feel about that? It just feels like more work Yeah. for me. Um, Cause sorry. I just wanna see it, you know, the internet, it's like, you are competing for people's attention and they have every other option in the world. They could be looking at YouTube. They could be looking at a movie. They could be looking at TV. They could be looking at anything. So just make it easy for them to look at you. Does that make sense to you? Photon photography. Okay. Your logo looks like one of the free Squarespace logos. Am I right? It's really easy if you get a... Squarespace portfolio. It comes with this free logo making service and you can use different pictures and drag them around and change the colors and add text. It's pretty cool. Okay. I need to understand more about Dominic's goals in order to assess that. So let's, let's check out the prices and this is being automatically translated. So if his soup. grammar is bad, you should blame Google Translate. 
Okay, event photography from 40 euros, marketing, social media, photo shoot, mm -hmm. the home screen collection. Oh, okay, just some kind of fine art things. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, for, I think that's cool uh, too. Desktop. Yeah. For two euros. Okay, that's that's actually pretty cool. I haven't ever seen that done before, Me but that's either. a great idea. We should buy one. Okay, maybe I won't do it now, but I'll do it later. And then a portrait photo shoot for 100 euros. Okay, so he's trying to do events, social media, and portraits. So with that in mind, let's take a look at portraits. his portraits. Okay, think like we might want our portrait taken for something. And so far I'm thinking like, oh, picture my dog. Okay, he could do that. Um, could he do my senior portrait? Yeah, I think this is all looking pretty good. I That looks very wedding-y. I'm thinking about taking that one out and just going with this one mm. since it's the same subject and I like this black and white shot yeah, better. Yeah, me too. But it gives us a good uh, idea of the different types of things that you do. Some have, some are fun, some are serious. Um, yeah. Those are awesome. I think that's looking pretty good. This one, do you think that belongs in the portraits? I like the toning and everything, but um, I don't think it's a super flattering picture of her. And when you're showing a picture of someone and you want someone to want to buy it, you have to ask, do they want this to be them? So if I look at this picture, I think, oh, he looks really cool. Yeah, I want to look like that. I want someone to capture me looking like cool and artsy. Um, so think of that. How does the person feel? Do they want to look like that photo? And this one, it's a nice photo. It's just a little bit, it's not about her as much. Um, one other thing I want to mention is that this layout, this template, the staggered format, it works now because you don't have many photos and then they're the same orientation. They're all vertical except for this one. When you get more photos, you might want to pick one that's just simpler and cleaner and if you choose one that's like a square picture you can you can change the picture so that you show what shows up you you can control what shows up when people visit your web page um just makes it an easier browsing experience i think the event section looks awesome i mean they're all sort of like club based but i think they're great examples and i think if somebody great were looking pictures. for somebody to get some event coverage i think that looks pretty good yeah Maybe yeah. we should. I'm confused by the structure though, because you have portfolio here and then you have three sub menus and then you go to weddings here. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh. I'm confused because you have separate pages for wedding prices and then other prices. I don't know why we wouldn't group all those together. Yeah. So if I just looked at your first pricing page, I would have thought you didn't do weddings. But now I look at this and these are gorgeous photos. Like, whoa, this looks like a magazine photo. Oh, wait, is this from Pinterest? Are these not your photos? Oh, no. What if we click it? Does it tell us? Uh, oh, I was trying to Wait, do maybe Google it's just search. so you can put it on Pinterest. Right? What's happening? Oh, Pinterest is the worst. Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, we're a little bit confused. Which... Is fine. That it's very hard to objectively make your own website. This just means you have to organize things a little bit more. Every single service you offer, put it in the same place. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I'm definitely confused about the Pinterest thing. I don't get what that's about. That confused us. Uh, in your defense, we're easily confused. <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. This is a this picture is of Dominic, you? but that was in your portfolio. That means somebody else took the picture. What's happening, Dominic? He is and you have your pricing mystery. here too. This is page number three with pricing? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. We, it, this is useful. We have good feedback for we, Dominic. Mm -hmm. Consolidate this. Have one page with your pricing. Uh, don't put a picture of you in your portfolio. And give us a. Oh, you know what? Get rid of this submenu. Because submenus. Submenus. Just, just promote these to a top level menu. Yes. And, Good news, you have very good pictures. I think a lot of people will want to hire you. You've just organized the website in a little bit of a confusing way, but the website looks very clean and professional. You just need to kind of consolidate and move a few things around. With Squarespace, that's easy. It's just dragging and dropping and rearranging. You know that you use it, it's simple. Here's what Dominic had to say about using Squarespace. He said, super, du 
super duper easy and I've been using it for years now. Yeah, I agree. It is super duper easy. If you want your own awesome Squarespace website, all you got to do is go to squarespace.com slash Chelsea. Yeah, you get a 14 day free trial, no credit card required. If you love it, set your pictures up. If you love it, you can use the coupon code Chelsea to get 10% off. Thanks for sponsoring us, Squarespace. I feel like people should also know when they use the coupon code Chelsea, <laughs> it supports me in a way that does not matter, except it makes Tony realize I'm very, very cool. And that's important to me. Yeah, but also they don't tell us. So. No, I'm going to ask. <laughs> oh, they're going to tell us? Okay. Mm -hmm. say we have no way to measure I didn't this. I set this up. I wrote them and I was like, dear Squarespace, there's something very near and dear to my heart. It's called beating Tony, <laughs> the love of my life. <laughs> you didn't make chit chat or anything this week, did you? Heck no. <laughs> chit chat was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it has been intense for the last couple of weeks. Our lives have been very intense. I don't want to chit chat. Chris, but Chris might have some comments from some reasonable folks. I'm giving Nicholas a pick. Uh, Tony, here's a good one. Okay. Kelsey, on Instagram, the, this person, uh, let's see, Dominic, says, how much of a difference does between a 24 megapixel and a 48 megapixel camera make when you're posting to Instagram or to social media. It says, I see some port portrait photographers on places like Instagram post insanely sharp pictures with an A7R3, which I cannot replicate or even get close to with an A7 III. Don't they downsize everything down to a ridiculously small resolution anyhow? Um yeah, they do, but I've definitely been able to notice a difference, especially because a lot of people will zoom in. And sometimes I'll think, I'll take like a wildlife photo, which is going to be cropped heavily, and I'll think, oh, it's, I wouldn't print this, but it's fine for Instagram, and then people will call me out like, why is it unsharp? So I think you'd be surprised how much sharpness can actually be perceived on Insta. I really? would okay. I would add to that, we are in a... If you're posting it and other photographers are commenting on it, they'll probably notice more. Um, but if you're posting it for like just your own thing and people don't know anything about photography, they, they probably aren't pinching and zooming for resolution and stuff. But I notice, I do notice. Check out this amazing photo from Mike Baruda. That's spectacular, right? Yeah. I'm oh my God. How'd you yeah. Do that? Great shot. I'm kind of skipping through here because we have a lot so of many. awesome pictures. How, Chris, do you have anything else? Oh, yeah, there's a, awesome uh, shot. a um, question here, and I think, Tony, you touched on this in one of your vid videos in the last couple of weeks. Is pixel shift worth it for landscape photography? And I think, Chelsea, you don't like it, and Tony, you do. It's. I Doesn't feel like it's a lot of – I'm not a fan of it, but, Tony, you said you liked it. If if you're serious, then, yeah, it's totally worth it. If If – like when I serious? take landscape pictures, I think I am building a portfolio over the course of my whole life. And these pictures, I want them to be viewed 20 years from now. And a, that little bit of extra effort, blending the pictures together, processing it, that's if it's visible at all in a huge print, then that would be worth it to me. So that's worth it to me. But if you're taking them for Instagram, it wouldn't make any difference. So, but if you want the best image quality possible, yeah, it's worth it. This picture's amazing, right? Tony, what's, that's such shade. What do you mean? I don't use pixel shift and my pictures are still worth it. Uh, but I, you, you are such a snob for image quality. I think you would love the difference between pixel shift with and without. I, I don't know why video. you don't use pixel shift. I sense a video coming on. Okay. You're getting all competitive again. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like oh, we should do a video Lewis about Chan. it. We should oh, show people the difference between pixel shift versus yeah. non pixel shift. So then they can just see. Yeah, that's a great idea. But I think you have to also show the process. Because the process yeah. of taking a picture to use pixel shift, that's not the hard part. It's the post-processing. It just takes some time. It Yeah, it takes some extra time. But you're right. That's We'll put that on the list. Mm -hmm. This is our friend Lewis Chan and just amazing shot. Um, this is one of those rare shots that would look great on Instagram in a small format and would also look great in a large format print because you'd get the chance to really like zoom in and explore it a little bit. Got the birds in there. What the hell, Lewis? What is what this? The heck, Lewis. The Lewis invited us stuff. on a trip, but we never have time to even see awesome shot, our family. Well, Let's see our family. <laughs> this is great. I love the person. I have never seen this angle of the Taj Mahal. That is fantastic. You get 
a pick. It's it's so refreshing to not get that same symmetrical angle that everybody rushes to get. Awesome shot. Um, yeah. Glowing lighter. Yeah, I I like the shot. I can't. It's I don't know what it is, and it, but I like it. Out, but. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Perfect. Totally belongs in a calendar or something. Mm -hmm. My calendar. Oh, that's beautiful too. Wait, are you the same person? No. No, but similar styles. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, wow. This makes me want to cry in a good way. Let me give you a pick. It's high praise. <laughs> oh, gosh. What have you been through? Yeah, what well, happened? He's like beat, right? Yeah, he looks like he just, like, this is some Game of Thrones stuff. That's a tough day fishing right mm -hmm. there. Yeah. He's like a salty old fisherman. <laughs> Great shot, Ash. That's at 135 millimeters. Like, Dang, you guys got close. <laughs> did you what walk you talk up and about? pat him afterwards? And look how proud he looks. He's like, I did that fishing good. <laughs> I love this picture so much. I'm going to give it a pick again. <laughs> Multiple picks. That's a, a first. Uh, I just want to see a little Ooh. more of the reel on that. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Pick. I love the colors, the richness. I feel like I'm... Yeah, the diagonal of it. It's very cinematic. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, I wish I were a little less square. Like, get up close, use a little bit of a wider angle. Just, like, get a little like depth it. to it, you know, but I like it. It reminds me of my girl, Arya Stark. <laughs> we're rewatching Game of Thrones. It's very... It's actually way better the second mm -hmm, time around mm -hmm. It's but because it's, it's impossible to follow the first time around. Oh my gosh. Who's this derpy little dude? <laughs> that is so cute. What's he doing? What a great picture. <laughs> Why is he like awesome that? Awesome shot, Terry. The great color contrast. The orange, the green, eye contact, like really beautiful. I had to go back and praise it twice. I like these colors. Gorgeous sunset, Terry C. Wow. Her Majesty's Coast Guard. I don't know why that cracks me up. It just as an American, it seems so silly. <laughs> um, that is a spectacular picture of that bird. That is incredibly Dang, sharp. This is like his Nicely glamour done. shot. Oh, with our favorite 400 F56 from Canon. Wow. Great shot, August. Pick, August. Ooh, I love the colors and the processing. Yeah, that's a good shot for Insta. Mm -hmm. Give you a pick. This is HDR, and it's a little bit, it's got that HDR grunge going. Maybe I'll brighten it up. It's yeah. It's hard to overcome that. But I totally agree with the your processing choices here. I would just modernize it a little bit, but great shot, Cindy. Really nice. I find that processing them in Lightroom helps with that grunge. Oh, Proce doing, what do you mean? Doing the uh, HDR in Lightroom? Yeah, doing HDO, HDR photo merge. Oh, yeah. It's just a lot more subtle than uh, like Photomatix Pro or whatever. Yeah, yeah, good point. Let's see if that... Oh, yeah, that brightened it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, those HDR apps can make it too low contrast. Wow, that makes me feel nervous. Aw. Oh, that's awesome. It's, I wonder if that's, that's a self-portrait. Gorgeous shot of the Milky Way. I'm going to give you a pick, Mike. I'd add a little color to it. Wow, I went a little too far. I'm going to be. Okay. You you all are submitting such beautiful pictures today. Wow. Pick. This is so sweet. I love the dew on the grass. Oh, that's so sweet. Great shot. Good contrast. Beautiful Hi. scene. That's beautiful, yeah. Let's look at thumbnails and see who we can jump to. Oh, this is, I always like these shots kind of through the glass. Yeah. Great shot. Whoa. Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I tried to get you into Harry Potter, but you just mocked me incessantly? <laughs> well, now the joke's on you, Tony. <laughs> I will say I'm like the only nerd who's not into Harry Potter. No, it's a different kind of nerd. It's a different kind of nerd. Maybe I'd go black and white because the colors are just a little strange. Yeah, I actually shouldn't have used the word nerd. That's incorrect. It's geek. Oh, wow. 
Has my chair been gradually lowering? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just aging rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> I got Benjamin buttons. Okay. Chelsea, uh, what's better, Harry Potter or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Okay, you're winning some adult points back. <laughs> Game oh of Thrones God. is almost too adult. Wow, um, that's beautiful. Yeah, this shot is real. This is one of the most beautiful bird shots I've ever seen. Oh Just the okay. grasses and everything, the detail is absolutely perfect. Wait, Wait that's the same that? lens. Did you send another? Oh, man. Leon, if you send in two pictures, I love your pictures. We but... will tell your mother. Oh, uh, it's Holly today, right? Yeah. Is it Holly or Holly? I think it's Holly, but what do I know? I really don't know much. I, I want to get I the like. guy out of the upper right corner, though. We need to get him out. Uh, awesome shot. Great expressions. iPhone X. I can tell by the green blob. Yeah, they flare like crazy, right? That's really nice. I love all the bird pics. It's a great shot. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you guys, you guys are really amazing me today. Gorgeous. Blue, blue bonnets. bonnets, Tony. <laughs> Remember the blue bonnets, Tony? You can't forget blue bonnets. Remember them, Tony. It's the state flower of Texas. Go back to Texas, Tony. The eyes of Texas are upon you. All the live long join in. <laughs> Nobody no? knows us. This. this is worse than when I liked Harry Potter. Nobody knows us. Every single Texan in the audience right now is singing along. They had their hand over their heart, I promise. No, if they, they didn't, didn't. No, they, they would didn't. immediately be expelled They're, from Texas. No, they didn't. <laughs> I could look at our demographics and tell you there are three people from Texas watching. Yeah, and, and they were all singing along. Have hands. The YouTube demographics are very specific. <laughs> and only two from Westeros. How many from Westeros? I'd like to know. Awesome shot, Abdul. This is amazing. Yeah. Chris, if Look you I'm gonna I'm gonna ask background. you the questions now, Chris. If you were a <laughs> Game of Thrones tables. character, who would you be? We talk about this a oh. lot. Oh my god. This picture's awesome. Uh what's his name? Uh no one knows the names of the people. There's too many. Peter Theon? Dinklage's character. Who? Peter Dinklage's character. Oh, yeah. Tyrion? Oh, you'd yeah. be Tyrion. Tyrion. Yeah. Tyrion. Oh, yeah. He's going to end up king, I'm sure. I love Tyrion. <laughs> I think Tony would be Ned Stark. I call him No Head Ned. He, do, <laughs> he does what he believes is right to a fault. Yeah, I will get my head cut off at some I also point. like the, the uh, cell sword, Tyrion's cell sword friend. Oh, we love him, Bronn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's uh, hilarious. We love Bron. I'm not him, but I admire him. I'm Arya Stark because I just want to kill people with a little sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this is a great photo. Yeah, I I don't know what how they do it. Um awesome okay. shot, Brian. Awesome. Really incredible shot. This oh, man, oh, I get I so excited. I've seen this before, but I love these like detailed shots. It's yeah. gorgeous. Oh my god! Uh, this show went whoa! I love this. That's crazy. Why can't I click? Yeah, that caught my eye too. That is so fun. Yeah, that's that, a very she cool can't shot. Roller skate in the <laughs> that immediately bumped me too. <laughs> I like the styling Sorry. of it, but that's ineffective. I'm a very literal person. I, I ruin fun everywhere I go. I'm sorry. But you like Game of Thrones. Yeah, because nobody else believes in the in the dragon, so that makes them seem more real. Can we see the baby moose? Baby moose. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no, Tony. Oh, look how cute. Tony, how could you do that? But, dude, you're way too close to that moose. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is going to happen? Maybe he's a moose. You can't assume. And those moose are dangerous, man. I would warm it up. Let's make the... That moose looked cold. That's a great example mm -hmm. of that 500. Yeah. 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 Really awesome. cute. Look at his little nose. <laughs> Silly. Okay. Do you have any questions for us? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. We're fighting. We're both trying to click. It disappeared. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Super cute. Why is it so cute? But I'm sorry. I'm getting all caught up in these pictures here. Look at this one. Wow. Ryan, Ooh, great chat. you get Wait. a pick. That's amazing. Wait. 
His fur is One green. thousands. What? You're gonna? Yeah, because his fur looked green. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Okay. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. And you can't have a green bear. And he got it with one of the Tamron under Sigma 150 to 600s that it was just trash talking. <laughs> so nicely so done. What do you know? Ryan, what do I know? <laughs> the shot was taken with those. So forget me. <laughs> forget. Although it does have a green tint to it. So. <laughs> had a green tint. Uh, wow. Okay. Please explain this person that watches our show <laughs> baby goat right. well, they explained it there you go five stars baby goat cowboy, baby goat cowboy. you win this is the okay. best shot of the night i didn't think this show was a competition and yet here you are winning it all Rhonda. is that for their high school yearbook photo yeah look at his little smile like, like a senior smile. photo looks like a portrait practice session yeah yeah wow that's really good any questions for us, Chris? Yeah, there's a, a question. First of all, people wanted to know when is the contest coming back because they really missed the competition piece of it. What contest? The the submit your photo best pick of the week contest. Oh, they oh. missed that, but nobody ever cared. Did you guys feel like no one cared? Yeah. You did? I did too. I thought nobody cared. Okay, we'll consider it. We thought you didn't care, so we ended it. And when you were talking about that, the that bridge photo, the panorama, it made me think of. I was wondering if you'd have have you tried any of the HDR pano feature in Lightroom? I haven't used it yet, but I have. I I've shot that before and had to manually process it, so I was interested in it. But yeah, no, I'm sorry, I haven't tried it. Have you tried it, Chris? Pick. Pick. Oh, Chris got muted. Oh, Chris got oh. muted. Sorry, I'm sorry, Chris. I can imagine what okay. you're saying. He's providing a lot of useful information now. We just yeah, he's being we helpful. We can't absorb it as per usual. Wow, this is gorgeous. Give you a pick too. Yeah, it's hard to get through all the pictures today because so many of you have submitted incredible photos. I know. Even skipping through, we've only gotten halfway through just the scrolling part of it because we keep stopping. Wow. Proud of you guys. Oh, this picture on the stairs. How cool is that? That is Whoa. so Whoa, that is creepy. creepy, but cool. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, right? It's weird, but I love it. Yeah, I like it. I like weird things, Tony. Wow. I thought that was a real scorpion and couldn't understand how this was happening. This is a great photo. <laughs> I love that portrait. You get a pick from me. That's awesome. Gorgeous portrait. Mm -hmm. I love how natural it is. Oh, yeah. Do that one. With this one? Yeah, with the moon. Amazing composition. Holy crap, Michael. Really, Michael. Get a pick. Beautiful. Just Nicole. all the contrast. We need to just learn every name so we can honor these people appropriately. Look at this mink. <laughs> he looks like trouble, right? Like he'd eat all your cereal if you let him in your house. <laughs> That's why I don't trust that guy. What is this? Oh, at first I thought that was the Yashika Y35. I got really upset. I had a flashback. Wow. wow. Gorgeous picture, Neil. They're so big. beautiful. You guys are just impressing us today. We don't even have much feedback. You, you're amazing. Look at this. You're. Wow. Oh, I'm so worried about that boat. Oh, guys, here's that ugly building you were talking about, but I know oh, this is, I know whose picture this is. They said they used someone with a um, leaf blower to blow her skirt. <laughs> oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, isn't that a great picture? What's her name? Ashley? Yeah, but on Instagram, she's like Jackie Lynn or something. I don't know. I'm misremembering. You're right. I mean, obviously her name is right there. Jackie Loon. Look at this toad. <laughs> Why has he got the moon on him like that? <laughs> what is with that white bird? Whoa. Wow. I love it. You took cat pictures, something I thought everyone would be tired of, and you elevated it. 
Nice shot, Madeline. Look at these two. It's us, Tony. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a an albino crow, I think. Yeah, I think so. And it's oh. gorgeous. And it I've should, never seen an albino bird. It's it really cool. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's an, it's a gorgeous photo too. Wow. There's some awesome thumbnails there though. I know. Like it's it's hard to choose. This is gorgeous. You all are stepping it up. That's all I can say. Whoa, look at this one. Come on. Yeah. You Maybe saw a that. Moment I love that there. shot. And with an iPhone too. Nicely now we're done. Just, wow, look at this one. Amazing. Wow. We are so lucky to get Whoa, look at this one. Kinky as heck. Should we end it like this? I guess so. Let's take That's a question. Intense. Let's take a question. We're going to all consider this kinky photo and take the question. <laughs> what is it, Chris? Uh, okay. Is it possible to, <laughs> with a fast lens to get a focal range that's too thin for even basic subjects? Rick Halverson. Uh, yeah. Because he was focusing on an eagle and he got his eye and the beak was out of focus. Yeah, that's definitely I mean, the case. Uh, I mean, especially when once you get into macro photography and you start getting really close, like it can be completely unusable. But for faraway subjects, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Chels? Like 600 f4, often we're usually shooting that wide open and that's pretty that's, fast. But No, I never have a problem with that, but I have a problem with like, we have a lens that's 0.95. You know how hard it is to get what you want in focus and focus when your depth of field is a slice of cheese like it's not easy <laughs> yeah and often the picture will just look like it's out of focus even when you're like no oh, it's nailed focus yeah. it's just everything is completely blurry except this one tiny little yeah. eyelash it's in focus look at her foremost eyelash <laughs> new yeah it can be difficult yeah there's it can, it can go too far this is gorgeous you guys you this was an amazing show thank you for sharing your best photos they were incredible and impressive and beautiful they made my night. And if you want to show them off to the world in a beautiful and professional way, you can get your very own Squarespace portfolio. Just go to squarespace.com slash Chelsea. You can do a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. And if you'd like to buy it, you can get 10% off with the coupon code Chelsea. That gets you 10% off, and it makes Tony know I'm the coolest. I already know that. <laughs> thank you, Chelsea, and thank you, Squarespace, and we will see you guys. We'll be back next week with astrophotography. Yes. So get your pictures ready. Good night. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Bye. Thanks, Justin. Bye. Sure. Thanks, Tigar. That is all. Okay, we need to put it on the list. New intro, new 